always throughout this process, it's been about stability, solidarity and flexibility, ensuring that we're delivering services to our community, that we're doing it in a stable way, but we're flexible in our approach and doing it all together. It has changed the way we operate. At the moment we're uh, single person per vehicle, disinfecting when they get out and then when they get in at the same time and ensuring that we keep the 1.5 metre social distancing rule. So we're normally outdoors um, with the community and families and of course we can't do that now so we've had to move indoors. Council's been super flexible and allowed me to work from home. We've really adapted our work practices so that people can work from home. We spent a lot of time supporting people on the phone and getting their uh, computers up and running and supporting them with any technical issues they're running into. The staff response has been amazing at every level of our organisation. Everybody's pulled together, whether you've had to work from home, whether you've been out in the field or you've been delivering online services in our library. This has been something that we've never done before and we've done the best that we can in a difficult situation and we've delivered for our city. What we've learned out of this whole experience is that this organisation is, is flexible enough and agile enough to be able to deal with people working remote, uh, people doing different jobs. Every day is a challenge, every day is different, which is great, I love it. And the positive thing, we still, we're all still got a job, so whatever they put us in, we just do it, you know, just accept it and just do it. The Daly Street project has given me better opportunities as such from as I started out on roads and now I've come up to projects. Recently I've moved into doing project administration. Me personally I'm getting to know more people in the organisation, learn more about what they do and just expand my knowledge in general about the organisation. It's brought everyone together, working with different people like from different areas of the, of the council which is really good. We're sharing resources and we're sharing knowledge and getting to know people that we wouldn't usually get to work with. We've also worked out that certain people have skills that we didn't know they had. They can adapt from their normal job to something different quite rapidly and, and really effectively. Staff have been able to be flexible, learn new skills, be more creative of how we actually service the community. We're learning a lot to start with and things that maybe were a bit I'm hesitant to try before we can actually just jump in and try it and not be so scared to get it perfect the first time. I think that's been a really important learning for us that you just have to do it and make it work. I've got to use skills that I haven't used in a long time and I've also been able to build relationships with community groups and organisations that I haven't previously worked with. Six weeks of a really, really hard slog, having to make a lot of quick decisions to keep the business of council going, deliver services to the community, keeping everybody employed, managing our budget. Lots of high pressure decisions in a really short space of time. But that's my job, that's why I'm here, and with the support of everybody, we've achieved it together. The silver lining from this experience is that we are now more prepared in case this happens again in the future. We've now proven that we can change our organisation really quickly and we can adapt. So we want to continue to that. We want to be able to digitise what we do here at the City of Darwin and be that smart city that we continually talk about.